In this video, I'm showing you how to get live wallpapers on PC for free. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. Live wallpapers make your PC look absolutely awesome. So without any further ado, make sure you watch this video right until the end and let's go and get into this. So here we are on my plain looking desktop background and let's go and get an awesome moving and live wallpaper. So the first thing you want to do is go and open up your web browser. So personally, I'm just using Chrome and then come to a search engine. All you want to do is go and search for something called Lively Wallpaper, just like so. Now, do keep watching, I'm showing the full setup guide for this and how to get custom wallpapers as well. Then make sure you come to this GitHub IO website, which is called Rock Stannister. Click here and it's going to take a moment to load. As you can see, it's now loaded and all you want to do is go and click on the download button just here and it's going to go and automatically scroll us down to the download. So there are two options here, either we've got the installer or the get it from Microsoft. I personally just get it from the installer, so click here and it's going to go and start a download. As you can see, it's around 200 megabytes. So all you want to do is wait for this to finish downloading and I'll catch up with you once it has. The download has now finished, so you need to go and locate it. So either it's going to be in your file explorer in your downloads folder or it's going to be in the bottom of your browser. Personally, I'm just going to go and drag it onto my desktop just so I can go and easily install it. And now we can come and close off of our browser. So all you want to do is go and double click on it just like so, and then we're going to go and start the install. So either you can go and install it for you only or for all users. I'm just going to go and do it for me. Then you need to go and choose the language. So I'm going to choose English, and then you want to just go through the wizard. So I'm going to click next. I'm going to go and read and agree to the agreement. Then you can choose where you want it to be installed, and then you can go and click next. Then there are two options here, so you can choose if you want to have a desktop shortcut created or if it goes and starts with Windows as well. Personally, I'm going to have both of these and then I'm going to go and click on next and then I'm just going to go and click install. And so here we go, it's now extracting the files and it may also do some additional downloads as well, such as certain um, things for Windows it needs to run. All you want to do is sit back and relax and wait for this to finish. And here we are, it's now finished. And if it's the first time you're having lively wallpaper, you are going to have to go and restart your computer. So go and restart it and then come back to this video and we'll go and continue. So I'm going to go and click launch lively wallpaper and then go and click finish. Then once you've gone and restarted your computer, you're going to go and get this lively setup menu here just as I'm getting right now. And all you want to do is go and click on next. And here we are. So you can go and choose if you wanted to go and start the windows, which I personally am. I'm going to click next. Then you can go and choose the user interface. As you can see, uh, for low end systems, you can go and select the light mode. Personally, I'm going to have the normal mode and then go and click next. Then you can go and choose if you'd like to have the taskbar theme. I'm going to leave that off and then go and click next. And boom, as you can see, it's now completed. So all you need to do is come to the bottom right of your computer and we need to go and go into our system tray. So either it's going to be in this list here or you need to go and click on this button here saying show hidden icons. Click on it and as you can see, we've got lively. And all you need to do is right click on it and go and click open lively. And here we go. So I'm going to go and zoom in on this just so you guys can see what's going on. So here are the wallpapers which are default come with Lively. Um, we can go and get custom ones and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. But as you can see, you can go and click on external light and take a minute to update and then it's going to go and change that to our wallpaper. As you can see, there it is. And if you've got two monitors as well, all you need to do is come up to this top right where you've got this control panel with a monitor on. Click here and you can go then go and choose uh, the two monitors and you can also go and choose the placement method so it can span across both screens or you could just duplicate the same wallpaper as well. So that's fully up to you of how you want to go and do it. And also, if you want to go and turn it off, all you need to go and do is go and click close wallpapers and it's going to go and close it off. So here are all these default ones. As I mentioned, you can go and check these out. But now let's go and get a custom one. So to do that, come to the left hand side on Lively and go and click on this plus button here where it says add wallpaper. Click here and as you can see, we've got a few options. So either you can go and select a file to go and set as a wallpaper or you can go and set a URL. So as you can see here, we can go and input a YouTube link. So let's go onto YouTube and I'll show you what to do. Here we are on YouTube and all you need to do is go and search for live wallpaper and then a bit of a description word such as retro or you can just do it blank and you're gonna get a ton of options. So as you can see, you can scroll down and there are so many to choose from. Honestly, I really like the look of this one. So all you want to do is go and click on it just like so and then you want to come up to the URL and click a few times so you can highlight it all. I think that's twice or three times. Then right click and go and click on copy and then we can go and minimize off of this and all you want to do is come to your lovely wallpaper to the add wallpaper custom section and then go and delete this link here and then all we want to do is right click and click paste and then this arrow and then it's going to take a minute to process and as you can see you can then just go and set these options here and then all you want to do is go and click OK 
and it's going to take a moment and then it's going to go and change our background. And here we go. Just a quick note as well, when you go and first set the custom wallpaper, it looks really blurry as it just takes a minute to go and load the file. But once it's playing the video, it becomes a lot clearer. And here it is. And of course, you can go and do any other wallpaper from YouTube as well. And just a quick note as well, if you dislike the music playing from the background, then all you need to do is come to the bottom left where you've got the settings cog, click here and then come along to audio. And then all you want to do is turn the master volume right down, just like that, and it's gonna stop that. And there we go. That is how you can go and get live wallpapers on your PC. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like for more. Peace.